Right as I got here, an eagle landed in the tree. Oh, another one. There are about 30 plus eagles out hunting right now. You can see in the tree right here. Yep, one eagle just took off. I'm trying to be super stealthy right now because there's a fox sleeping in the grass right now. As I started shooting it running through the ditch, it started taking a crap as it was running. No! What a bummer of an opportunity I missed. I for some field work, got the field work done early and said, you know what? Let's yeah. see if those bald eagles are here. They're coming back strong. I can tell you if we did a Delaware 20 years ago, there were like 12 pairs. Now there's like two and a cow. Good afternoon, everyone. Ari and I are two hours away from home right now on the Delaware coast. And we are out here because there are about 30 plus eagles out hunting right now. And we're out here to capture them. Just kind of entering the wildlife drive right now. I could see across the pond and across the pond, there was already a few cars parked and I could see dark spots in the tree which means that there's probably an eagle perched up in that tree what i love about this area is that they'll perch particularly close and they don't seem to be too shy now a lot of them are coming back at the beginning of this season so they're just coming into the area i've had them land 10 15 feet from me just in the grass where i'm parked and sit there for a while so we're hoping to get to a point today where we can get some beautiful portrait shots. And uh, if not, just capture them fishing and uh, get, some, get some nice video footage too. You can see in the tree right here. Yep, one eagle just took off and the water today is extremely hot. We just had a bunch of flood warnings. So I'm wondering if they're gonna be fishing, but it looks like we got a pretty juvenile bald eagle here. So I'm gonna get my camera ready and we'll start shooting. Right as I got here, an eagle landed in the tree. Oh, another one. I was recording one, maybe two to two and a half year old bald eagle. And as I'm sitting here, just getting some portrait shots and video of him, an adult shows up, lands in the in a tree with a fish. And as he starts tearing into it, a juvenile bald eagle, maybe between one and one and a half years old, shows up. I'm trying to be super stealthy right now, because there's there's a fox sleeping in the grass right now. Oh, and it's running. It ran into the cattails, so I pulled over, turned my car off, and I'm gonna wait and see if it pops back up and we can get a photo of it. So I was sitting down here waiting for the fox to come out. It came out the opposite side I was looking, ran across the road. I'm looking that way, across the road. And as I started shooting it, running through the ditch, it started taking a crap as it was running. And the only shot I have of it in focus 
is with a turd coming out of its butt. Yeah, and, and even here, it, it's like everything else, right? It's, yeah. Is, is this the right time of day, or are they here and I just didn't see them? I often wonder how many owls I pass when I'm out looking for them that yeah. I just didn't know because I don't see them. I passed them, my son goes, there's an owl on the tree. I said, no, oh, then I back up and go, stop them. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you sitting so low and allowing me to get the photos. But... I haven't had a whole lot of luck with it, especially, well, with raptors you're okay, but waterfowl, or mostly the other stuff, they go deeper into everything, or they start hugging along the coastline on the opposite side of where you are. So it's kind of windy right now, but I have been waiting for over an hour for this particular eagle in that tree right there to fly. Trying to get a flight shot. Got a couple coming in, but there's branches in the way, so it hasn't turned out too well. They hunt into the wind, so I'm hoping when he comes off, he will actually either come either right at me or come out and around where I can get a shot. That, or he's going to go completely away from me, and I'm going to miss everything entirely. We'd appreciate it if you can get him to fly. Uh, yeah, yeah can, he's can been you? sitting there for, about, for probably for about an hour or so. Let's yeah. See. A little over an hour. <laughs> Bless him. Saw two two drop down. Yeah, I remember those apartments they're standing. Yep, there goes a third one dropping. He's got something too. Bro.
is, right? It's literally just changing my settings back. That's him right there. Flying right at us. Two hours I waited. For that, uh, for that eagle to take flight and I was changing back from video to photo, readjusting my settings. It was three seconds, three seconds. I was going from custom one to custom two. And it flew. And I completely missed it. Oh, it's incredibly frustrating. Right time, nope. Right place, yep. Right settings, nope. Ari's passed out. And yeah, I gotta still make sure to get out and let her run around. But man, what a bummer. What a bummer of an opportunity I missed. Flew exactly where I wanted it to. Exactly where I wanted it to fly to. And I missed it. Man. We got three three bald eagles in a tree over here there's one still sitting on the tree that i was just at and there was five sitting in another tree i counted and they're all in these trees just across the water here one sitting real low but we're gonna move up here a little bit because they were this is where they were fishing earlier so now today I just gotta find out where they're fishing at. So we got a one mile loop here. All right, you wanna go on this? You wanna go for a walk? Come on. She enjoys these places and I try and let her get out and run around. So we took a little break, walked the trail, and I was able to film some short form content. And now we're gonna continue on looking for some eagles on the hunt. Just want to apologize for for uh sp spooking I it no i thought i did it so. oh <laughs> yeah it, it landed there and started eating and i figured okay well it must be okay with my presence so i tried going around just to get it eating and you're absolutely fine i uh, i've been here in years playing hooky you from delaware then yeah, i've been here my whole life got called out for some field work got the field work done early and said you know what let's oh. see if those bald eagles are here they're coming back strong i can tell you if we did a delaware 20 years ago they were like 12 pairs now there's like two and a cow yeah, i don't know why uh, this area seems to have recovered pretty well i know they what was it like in the 70s they started yeah putting a lot of effort the towards this fans who are birders duck hunters yeah uh, yeah you know, this year was outstanding um because of that cold snap we had just at the end of the season bitter cold out of the north and the ducks and the geese were outrageous for the first time in 15 years what are some changes that you've noticed coming out here for 20 years? I think the development is the big change. Right. Yeah. So, uh, again, I don't duck hunt, but my buddies who duck hunt, they say that a lot of the private ponds for developments, right? So, build a couple hundred homes and a pond in the middle of it for all the, you know, for the rainwater, right? And so the ducks go to those smaller ponds all over the place. And so they don't come to some of these larger areas. Mm. How true that is, I don't know. Development then also too, like all the other wildlife, so deer and you know, just all those sort of things. Wild dogs, fox. Oh yeah. A lot of fox. Coyotes making an appearance. You know, wild cats. I love frail cats. 
No, like, like. Are you talking about bobcats? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I've never seen one. There's been here and there spottings and this and that. Okay. But we had a bear up north, you know, because really? northern Newcastle County is kind of the beginning of the Appalachian Ridge. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah I, nice I appreciate you, the information. Uh, you know, Denny, right? Yeah, Denny. I'm sorry. Rick, Nick? Uh, Nick. Nick. It's very interesting to hear from someone who's lived here for 20 years how development, we always hear it, impacts wildlife and the population of eagles. Like he said, you know, 20 years ago, you might have, there might have been 12 pairs. Once they kind of canceled or outlawed, I should say, those pesticides, the eagle population has really recovered. And I think now there's close to 4,000 breeding pairs of bald eagles. Glad I had the opportunity to, to talk with him, as well as hearing some positive things that are happening with the environment right now. My GoPro's dead, and right now I have about 1,400 shots. I definitely got some shots of eagles that I don't have yet, so I'm, I'm still very happy with the day. Met a few people, um, had some great conversations, got some great photos, got out, went on a, went on a little hike. Ari's passed out, so. All in all, it was, it was a good day.